Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading, a general reading, so it might not resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever does resonate with you and simply leave the rest of it aside. If you do have any questions and you would like to contact me, please do so. My information is right below into the YouTube description box and it will be my great pleasure to assist you. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it is always and greatly appreciated. I do thank you so very much. So with no further ado, we are going to begin this reading. This is a very important reading. These are messages from Spirit. There are warning messages that you need to hear, so I am going to deliver them to you. So as usual, you take what's good, leave the rest aside. We're going to begin this reading with a little bit of sadness. We're going to continue with Discover Your True Purpose, moving or over to Courage, and we're going to finish with Whole in the Soul. Let's begin with sadness. It's easy to um, swallow your sadness and to just hide behind a fake smile. Yet, sadness can open the door to your heart and can help you access compassion. So, when you can truly allow yourself to cry, to feel sorrow over the loss of a loved one, a lost opportunity, a broken heart, or maybe a friendship that's ended. What you are doing is you are cleansing your soul and you're allowing your heart to heal. Crying and feeling vulnerable, it can be a sign of strength which demonstrates your connection to your body. So to admit weakness is can allow you to know yourself, to embrace your limitations and for you to evolve. You must be willing to let go of those cold walls of protections that you have created, which are making you feel empty right now, maybe even making you feel somewhat sick. You don't need to get lost in your emotions. Just give yourself time to feel them and then let them move through your whole being, cleansing and purifying your heart, your body and your soul. Moving on forward now to discovering your life purpose. Start asking yourself, what is the meaning of your life? Have you asked yourself that question lately? As a soul who is having a physical experience, you are here to grow and you're here to learn. You are being asked to immerse yourself in this life by expanding, by stretching, and understanding your reasons for being here. Nothing is impossible for a soul who is following her or his destiny. Your guides, your angels, and your higher self, they are constantly communicating with you through signs and feelings and people, books, etc. I could keep on going. You need to follow your hunches. You are being given some really important guidance, which may show up via a strong feeling to maybe travel somewhere, to speak to someone, to attend a seminar, write, paint, and the list continues. No matter how far-fetched your inner guidance is, you need to listen. Your soul's purpose includes a combination of experiences that your mind doesn't understand, but that your soul needs to process, to learn, and to grow. Now, some of these experiences are going to be enjoyable and they're going to be heightened. Others are going to be challenging and they are going to cause you to struggle. But through them, you are going to know yourself better. You need to give yourself that permission to focus on what really makes your heart sing and then put your intensity of emotion into attracting what it is that you truly desire. Moving on forward now to having some courage. 
Now, courage. It requires you to fearlessly stride ahead despite the challenges that you're experiencing right now. Whether you're feeling afraid of success or failure, you cannot stay where you are. You need to make a decision to move forward with belief, with trust, and with boldness. You need to give it your all, no matter the outcome. Despite what you have been telling yourself, you are ready for a new adventure and another chance to prove that you have what it takes to face life's challenges. You need to stop investing in limitations, lack and of dysfunctions. Every blessing has a challenge and every challenge contains a blessing. You are ready right now to explore both. So while there may be difficult moments ahead, Keep positive and believe that everything is going to work out for your absolute best. You are being asked to gather the courage to be who you truly are and to stand strong for your convictions. And we're going to conclude this reading with the hole in the soul. Now your childhood wounds might be creating a hole in your soul. One way your childhood wound could disrupt an extraordinary life is through a low-grade depression experienced as a perpetual empty feeling. If as a child you try to make everything all right by picking up those pieces of your family dramas and then you dropped a false self, when you lose your authentic self, you disconnect from your true feelings, from your needs, from your desires, and instead you wear a mask to make others feel more comfortable. Being detached leads to profound lo loneliness and isolation as you are simply always mourning your true self. This message encourages you to discover your true self through learning about your childhood and your mourning and the abandonment and maybe even the neglect that you felt when you were younger. This is about not betraying yourself and discovering and recovering your true self. And this, my dear friends, does conclude your reading with spirit. I do hope that you enjoyed. I do hope that it brought you some interesting um, perspectives that you might be able to use onto your journey. If you do have any questions you would like to contact me, please do so. It will be my great pleasure. My information is right below in the YouTube description box. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I wish you a beautiful day. I thank you for being there. Many blessings and I will see you tomorrow with new messages.